What did you do as a child? We made our own our own games. We played hide and seek and hopscotch and and marbles and uh, I remember we had um, cattails and we made pipes out of that and you know d different sort of d different things. Yes. Is there anything you have now that you wish you had when you were a child? There's an awful lot of food now that I didn't have when I was young because I lived in Europe in the war, World War II, and uh, we didn't have much food. And uh, I, I remember now even in the mornings when I make myself an egg, I think, oh, what, how wonderful that is because I didn't have eggs <laughs> when we were little. And we didn't have chicken or any of that sort of thing. And when I came to this country, there's so much plenty. Everything is plentiful. And I know I feel very blessed that I have a lot of food now. <laughs> Why do you like to craft? Yes, we have a crafting, a crafting bee in the mornings and the nimble fingers. And the ladies all come in and we do all kinds of uh, needlework. We used to have just sort of maybe six, seven ladies, and now we have almost 20 ladies coming. And uh, everyone does different things, and we make enough for lap Africans for uh, nursing homes. And um, we have found another nursing home, and we would like to give them, uh, in October, maybe about 40, 50 of those lap Africans that we crochet and knit and uh, for people who sit in uh, wheelchairs and so on, and they love to have them. What was school like for you? School? Um, well, when I went to school, uh, um, I remember I had wooden shoes since I was born in, in Holland. We, had, we all had wooden shoes to school, and we had to take them off before we came into the hallway. And uh, then we'd go into class. And uh, I can't say that I was crazy about school, no, <laughs> not really. But I did go, you know, through school, but it, it was um, mostly during the war. So we didn't have very much to, you know, work with. Why did you come to the United States? Uh, I came to the United States with my mom and dad. And they had five children. I was the oldest, I was 18 and uh, we emigrated after the war. My parents were fed up with the war and they said we're going to America, which is a better country. And uh, we came and um, I only had a little bit of English and I remember we took the train from, from uh, New York to, I th they asked me and I said, well, we're going to Chicago. <laughs> well, they laughed at me, but if, I thought, well, hey, it's an A, isn't it, you know? Anyway, they told me it was called Chicago. We took the train to Chicago, and then we took another train to Kenosha, Wisconsin, and that's where we, that's where we lived then. I think the very first time I really learned English is when we went to the movies, and uh, there were no subtitles under the movies. We had to learn what they were saying. <laughs> How do you feel about being a silver star? I think it's it's a very it's an honor to be. I have uh, been at the Senior Center now almost close to nine to ten years, and I volunteer every, you know, twice a week, and uh, I do the best I can.